G'day, it's Simon and James here at South OC Cars and Coffee, perfect Southern California day. Some really cool cars this morning. What have you seen, James? Uh, we have an R34 GTR V-Spec 2 in the overflow lot, which I absolutely love. I think it's Midnight Purple 3, the, uh, the color that that's in, but it, it's fantastic. It's immaculate. I absolutely love it. And then also the 300 SL that we just parked yep. in the front row. Beautiful and what looks like original paint as well, which is very, very impressive given how old that car is. Yeah, real survivor. I love those old gold wings. They're just so classic. Lots of other cool things. Uh, I saw a, a really cool uh, Challenger, I think it was, that came through earlier, like an early 70s one as well. Uh, let's go for a walk and check it out. You know what I love about this show? You walk around and you see guys like this guy next to me. One of our regulars, Chip Foose. Chip, it's always great to have you here. Thanks for coming, oh, it's mate. It's a pleasure to be here. It's always a great show, and uh, I've got a Hellcat this week, so I wanted to bring that down and uh, share it with the folks that were here at the show. And it's always fantastic. I love the variety of cars that come here. Yeah, I mean, every week there's something that I haven't seen before, or there'll be cars that you are. You look at it and you just know there's a story behind it. You start asking the owner about, oh, yeah, this is. There's a Corvette over there, for example, the guy's owned for like 40 something years, you know, and yeah. he's now selling it. Very I love those sort of stories and the fact that this brings out all these families as well. You know, there's three reasons I come here. The cars and the people. Yep. I want to see you. Awesome. And my sister, she runs Rockwell, so I always get a free meal. Yeah, that's a good thing. <laughs> and we always call Jody. Uh, she does a great job over there. It looks after all of our people that come to the show, which is great. Well, mate, always great to have you here. Uh, we are actually fortunate enough, uh, Chip gave Sarah and I a tour of the shop a few weeks ago, and you got some cool stuff happening in there at Thank the moment. Thank you very much. Uh, always great. You are such a great ambassador for this industry, and always great to have you along, mate. So thanks for you know, coming. It'd be fun. It'd be really fun to actually do an unveiling here. I would love to do that. I would we, love to do that. We could get here early, cover it up, Yep. and then we'll just pick a time and then announce it and uncover a car. Here. Mate, let's do that. That would be awesome. You heard that here first. So if you happen to own the car that's going to be unveiled, you didn't hear this, all right? <laughs> thanks for coming, mate. Always great Good to, to see, see you. It. Yeah, you Take too, care. mate. See ya. This ACR is nice. Black and red on this is awesome. I think one of the coolest things on these cars, it's kind of something cheesy, but the third brake light is actually the Viper badge. It's just those small things that I wish that they still did to cars. They look so, so good. Viper is one of those cars that I'm never gonna get sick of seeing. Wish they kept making them though. You guys have got to check out this R34. It is a V-Spec 2, uh, so it's kind of like the highest tier of R34 that you can get. And then it is also in a midnight purple. So the car itself looks black, but when the sun hits it just right, you've got this really, really nice purple flake to it. Uh, from the looks of it, it looks pretty stock on the inside. It looks maybe lowered a little bit, it has different wheels on it. It's perfect, I love it. Let's flip the camera around and take a look. I think the best part about these cars is that you really don't have to do anything to them to make them look fantastic. You've got the really nice stock Nismo wheels on it that actually say Nismo, which is pretty, pretty neat. V-Spec 2 badge on here. You can see that really nice midnight purple paint as well that looks black until you walk up to it and then you see the beautiful purple and red flake. Very, very nice right-hand drive, of course, with a six-speed manual. Looks like it might be lowered a little bit. Maybe you got coilovers on it. Carbon lip. This thing is tastefully modded. Looks fantastic, and I'm so glad that I made it out to the show this morning. So 
So when I was younger, I always loved the Audi All Roads, just to kind of look at the wagon with the black fender flares on the side. I thought it looked fantastic. Uh, years later, I ended up with a Panamera, two of them. Um, I had a silver one and a black one. And what I always wished is that I could have got the, uh, the new Panamera wagon, the Sport Turismo that they came out with. Um, I ended up getting rid of those, and you know, it's, it's a car that I always regret not getting. And I just found out that they came out with the Taycan Sport Turismo, which is a Taycan wagon. Has these awesome fender flares, kind of has like an off-road look to it. I'd never seen one in person until today, and then two of them show up. We have a black one, and then uh, the gray one, which I'm about to flip around the camera so I can show you guys. It's kind of like this flat, almost chalky gray. It looks fantastic, has a black interior with some uh, five-spoke wheels, but let's flip the camera around and take a look. So, taking a look at this Taycan Sport Turismo, this thing looks phenomenal. Really, really wide hips on it. It's a four as well, so all-wheel drive. Really nice five-spoke wheels with a set of Pro Contact Continentals on there. Very nice looking wheels, very futuristic. Black door handles, which I like as well. Typically, I like kind of, I like everything to be monochromatic, you know, same color door handles as the car, but it just works on this because you've got the black roof rack, the black flares, and the black door handles. It just ties everything together very, very well. You can't really see through the windows on this thing because I don't have a polarizer on this camera, but it has a very, very nice burgundy interior. Looks absolutely lovely. Very, very nice. I'm so glad that we got to see one of these. Uh, I'm gonna swap over to the black one right now so that you guys can check out that other one. And then here is that other Taycan Sport Turismo in black this time. I'm not sure exactly what model this is. because It doesn't have the badge on the back. But the styling looks pretty aggressive. It might be a turbo, I'm not too sure. This thing just looks menacing in black with the really nice kind of flat back carbon overflares. Same kind of wheels as the other one as well, very similar. With uh, kind of like a cover on the wheel as well. Looks interesting, almost kind of Tesla-esque. This one all motored out, black on black. No roof rails though. when you uh, come across these really original cars like this one. I don't know whether this is a restoration or whether this is the way it, you know, a survivor, should we say. I suspect it's just been beautifully restored. Let's see if we can find the owner in a minute. But just little things like the number written out over on the firewall over there, those GM heater hoses through there, the sticker on the side of the air cleaner. It is absolutely amazing. This says this rare 300 Pontiac GTO is a genuine 455 HO very very nice beautiful red interior what a pretty 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 car love seeing cars like this just very original the way it was when it came from the factory
So uh, I just feel like I'm looking at a Tonka truck here. I love the fact there's a ladder to get up into this thing. This is a huge Hummer. Absolutely massive. Like small. Ton of money put into this thing, but can't imagine driving this down uh, some skinny, narrow street somewhere. This is, this is crazy, isn't it? Massive wheels on it. A lot of work done to this. not something you see every day couple of 65 Chevy uh, Impalas here four doors which uh, that's the reason they're not so common but beautiful car beautiful paintwork both of them for sale really interesting colors of course the 65 recognizable by those three tail lights either side 66 uh, they went down into the, uh, the chrome at the bottom but uh, I like 65 and 66 I think these lines are really really cool beautiful interior in both of them very, very nice. What a cool cruiser. Kind of cool that they're four doors, huh? up to a 992 911 Turbo S with a Tech Hard kit on it. This thing looks crazy. Looks like it's a little bit wider than factory. Got carbon all over the place. Carbon side skirts, little carbon louver on the side. Massive wing on it as well. It's it's interesting. So you have like the duck bill, but then there's a, a second carbon wing that sits on top. Looks very, very good. Nice styling on it. Very, very aggressive diffuser as well. Looks like it was put together by Bowden Auto House, judging by the license plate frame. This thing looks phenomenal. Very, very nice. Then you got the color match brake calipers as well. Nice black interior with a PDK transmission. This thing looks fantastic. Let's check out some cars in Rockwell Row. Hey, that's it for another week at South OC Cars and Coffee. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. Huge shout out to all of our sponsors. We have Meguiar's, Polestar, Share Your Car, Teen Road to Safety, uh, Next Level Detailing, Pacific Air Cooled, as well as BMW Performance Center. Then we have Align Financial and Insurance Services along with Haggerty. Huge shout out to all the volunteers as well yeah. for coming out and helping us organize this each and every week. 
Don't forget that if you want to become a volunteer that you can reach out to us on our merchandise page at South OC Cars and Coffee Merch. Uh, if you are a volunteer, you do get to bring your car in here early and stage before the show. And then you also get a free coffee and donut provided by Ruby's Diner. Absolutely. Big thank you to Outlets of San Clemente for allowing us to be here. We really appreciate that. Um, if you need to do any shopping and you think that what you need might be at the outlets, please make sure to try these guys first. It's a big thank you for, for allowing us to be here. And of course, a big thank you to Rockwell's and Ruby's as well for bringing out the coffee and the donuts and the pastries. Just makes this show so much better. Hey, have a great week. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you back here next week for another South OC Cars and Coffee. Goodbye, everyone.